just witnessed there, 206.05, 673 shots fired, 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 fired. there that was supposed to be a checkout pass he just went 673 at 206 miles an hour the first ever anglia to do a 200 mile an hour pass in the uk and it was on his checkout pass 206.05 673 shots fired So John Willard put in a test pass a couple of weeks ago. We all know what he did then. Let's see what he can do now in Outlaw Anglia Racing for real. I got up against his good buddy, Mick Taylor. Here we go. Well, he's still going 679 at 204 miles an hour. Yeah, of the record. If that's it. That's it's the gone. one. Yes, yes. Anyway, so Colin Miller and John Willard both need no introduction whatsoever. Two six second Outlaw Anglias. Qualifying for Outlaw Anglia, however, this is just a very special moment. John Willard and Colin Miller. Here we go. Colin got there first, but he read lit to a 6, 9895 miles an hour for the Blind Pfeiffer. It's going to be Colin Miller against John Willard. A week ago, side by side, six second runs. It's the Flying Pfeiffer against the one and only Aussie Outlaw. So it's the Brian Pfeiffer against the Aussie Outlaw, take two here in qualifying at Greg Stalker. It's going to be John Willard over the line first. 671, 197 miles an hour. Colin Miller goes 721 at 187. It looks like something may have paid the price at the top end for John Willard, though lots of smoke through the finish line. The, the numbers for John Willard are the quickest we've seen for him, but uh, I think he may have unfortunately wounded it in the process. 
However, that is a new Outlaw Anglia record ET in the UK, everybody.